Hi, I'm just going to make a video comment on this video. And I have um, I have a theorem, I have an idea I believe is worth pursuing and exploring to see if that could be what is happening um, to the Western world, to our um, base, Western, generally American-led uh, culture in the West regarding all these new concepts about sexuality, homosexuality, gender identity, you know, that has been rolling forward with all these, um, I mean, unprecedented in human history, um, intent to reconfigure our understanding of sexual perception and sexual uh, identity of the human being not even it's not about even about people or or civil issues but it seems to be about wanting to define the human being differently through uh, logical constructs of uh, applied idealisms and so my what my theory is i'm going to just throw this out there and see what people think it seems to make sense because for a long time what i'm thinking seems to make sense that because for a long time we have been less and less more neutralized we have been more neutralized we have been less um, teaching of our children compared to the rest of human history going back of their gender gender behavior in other words we have fathers have been less and less taking their boys with them, teaching them how to be with other boys, with their friends, with their father's friends, and then so they could learn how to be with their buddies, um, and talking man to man, what sorts of things men should agree or have thoughts upon. This development of, um, of has been lacking, you know, and, and that's not, uh, an opinion that's something that you can uh, com we can concur that we have been getting less involved and in, uh, it's it's almost like taboo we're not supposed to tell little girls to do little girl things if you're a mother you have we have to let people discover themselves and all these um, new types of ways in which we define development are being are taken all taking over uh, what traditionally has always been the way that we raise our our children where we naturally would just um, share and teach with the, the the you know the fathers with the boys and the mothers with the girls the things that they think about the world as women and how they should view the world as women all this this whole um, relationship between the same gender uh, uh, in, uh, regarding the same gender from parents to children uh, has been washed over, has been cancelled because of things that we now believe that it's wrong, that uh, we're actually um, symmetrically equal like, um, like um, human units we're not to define role we have come up with the word roles and now it's something that uh, we have choices a role is a choice it's not something that comes from the gender but it's something that gets taught and so therefore we're not to to fix people into something that is taught. well anyways i could go on and on and on but i think you all know what i'm talking about so uh what i'm trying to say and so what my theory is is that we have evolved naturally to receive teaching regarding our own gender uh, as babies, we're not born knowing we have natural inclinations uh, that have to do perhaps with our gender uh, behavior that seems to be more defining of a little girl or a little boy. Uh, but they're not very strong, as we know. So, you know, uh, sometimes uh, little boys seem gentle, or little girls seem more aggressive, or what have you. Uh, but we, I believe we come fixed. I, I th evolution has made us 
to be wired to expect the same thing that we have been evolving base is the, the principle of, um, of the evolutionary matrix I don't know what it is I've never studied or read anything about this but I understand it I understand evolutionary science in that um, we will come to expect what evolution has made us to be because it's a wheel that does not stop it keeps going and where it is today is uh, we'll look today we will look for what we are ex we have anyways maybe an evolutionist can explain this better to you but um you know uh so being that this that little boys and this is perhaps the missing element here and little girls are rightfully expecting their parents to be involved in, in the forming of their gender. Um, it's amazing. It seems that this this has disappeared as a, as, as a notion because of how we now have told ourselves we have to believe about, we have to believe, we have to think about uh, raising our children in the context of gender. Since, uh, so if evolution would have us uh, naturally go look for the same and you know and the, the classical psychology always uh, also teaches us this that the, we are naturally the little boy will look with admiration and, and follow you know chase the dad and want to see what what he's because he has realized that it's the same gender and the same thing with the little girl will, will be intimately connected with her mom because she realized it's the same and so, so if we come to this to the world already um, expecting to be nurtured in our gender by the adult and our parents and instead we have a world that uh, is silent there we have created a society that is silent in this now it means that there will be a um, sort of like how can I say this like uh, a boat that has a propeller to go forward but you lift it from the water and so the propeller keeps going but it doesn't go forward and it, it's almost like it does not know how to find what is supposed to come to the baby it cannot go it will naturally gravitate to, to other men and older brothers if it's a boy let's say um, or to an older sister if it's a little girl or to the mother but if if all of the family members are saying I'm not talking to you about anything that has to do with our gender then the and the, the the individual baby the individual toddler will be left un, unreciprocated un, unresponded to what it is wired to find and so it must do something because development must happen um, what will the only thing it can resort to doing is to fulfill a gender that it can understand external to itself because the gender that is the same as itself it cannot validate because that's not how it's it's supposed to rec he's supposed to receive that he's supposed to be taught he's supposed to absorb his the, the learning of his gender and so therefore he cannot validate what he may believe about his same gender therefore the mind uh, can handle an image of a gender that says well I don't have to validate it because I'm not that gender it's a it's a little girl it's a woman and I can see that I can see it and I don't need to validate it says the the the, the situation of the mind going on I, I hope I was able to explain this um, because the mind cannot uh, receive what it's supposed to receive it feels it needs to form its gender regardless 
and it cannot validate what is not capable of validating its own gender in adult and father or other other males because it doesn't know how it hasn't learned it yet there's a void there it can't say i know for sure that is a boy uh, that is what my gender does it can say that as an adult as an adult we can say that i'm going to copy what because i know already i'm certain that i'm a boy and so i can i can verify and bounce it back with something i already know is the case in me but a toddler a baby that's starting off a, a child cannot convince itself is incapable of convincing itself of what it has not learned yet so in because there's a force that says you have to form yourself it will resort to something that it need not certify or validate which is the description the external description of a girl or, or the opposite so the girl will do it with the male with the boy with the father with uh, other little boys that are hanging around his little brother her little brother and the boy will do it with girls with girls he sees on tv and so soon enough it will take charge in other words of its own development it, the the toddler the baby will take charge of of um of, of fulfilling that development so it will look at whatever there is out there um it doesn't know that it's a boy in its subconscious because it's growing that it's it's growing inside him but it can see like a figure like a caricature what a girl is what the opposite gender is and so that it can go about the business of learning even as a little child because it can see it and it's 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 external it's easy to read and there's nothing that confuses uh or challenges the his uh his uh, his uh, uh, um, his confidence or him being sure that it is what he's supposed to learn i'm kind of saying the same thing in different words i hope i was clear uh, i hope you were able to understand this but this is what this is what i'm starting to see um uh, when i'm really when i really started thinking about what happens to these children how can they be seven years old and say mommy i think i want to can i go see a doctor so if the child is six and he asks his parent if he can have a sex change isn't that obvious that it's about world adult nurturing of ideas into that child's mind how can a child not come up with the idea okay so i'm going to have a surgery then you know only about sex it doesn't think child children don't say this about changing their eyes to another color or you know not seriously anyways uh or or you know or having a nose job or or um you know or, or changing the color of their skin they don't but they they have been about sex and so this is something that we're doing to kids this is something that society is causing children at a very very tender part of their development which is obviously sexuality is there's so much development going on in sexuality until until they reach we reach adolescence and puberty and then we get launched right uh done <laughs> finished finished that part of our our physiology developing it's very important when we're children all that is getting nurtured through our mind a lot more than we realize and perhaps we still have not understood how that happens the mechanism of how that comes to be what, what the you know the child comes out <laughs> is born the baby and there must be mechanisms through that it latches on to that it doesn't think about obviously there's totally subconscious wired by evolution that it will look like like a little bird you know breaks out of the shell and somehow it starts picking on the on the ground because it knows somehow it's gonna have to swallow something that it that feels like a seed uh, eventually when it hits it it tastes it and it goes and it, you know and so these types this level of mecha uh, already wired mechanisms i think is we're very poor at we're not 
we haven't given it enough thought and we we don't realize that we're supposed to develop a certain way i mean we know that we're supposed to develop a certain way but it looks like we haven't really become very good at um at the natural mechanisms that are that make our development um and so taking putting that aside and then looking at society and how much we have been almost militantly since the 60s something happened and after the 50s something really intense happened after the 50s we started really pushing all these things that society had to be we had to be so you know and, to, and everybody had a solution and a counter solution all the way to the you know we we started really going nuts with um and it i don't think that we have ever been aware of that in itself i don't think we we say hey, hey hey wait wait we're thinking too much we're telling each other too much how to how to be human beings something is but if you compare this part of uh of uh civilization of um social evolution compared to the previous three thousand years it seems that only since the the 30s or the 50s or something did we start going nuts telling each other how to be a human being how to what how to understand our sexuality and all these things that never we never proposed uh we did things and things uh, forms expressions of uh, exceptional f expressions of sexuality existed but we never made it uh, an, uh an idea idealizing intellectual culture of how we're supposed to understand our behavior this we have and so when you uh realize this that something really really intense in the in the, uh, the, in the, in the area of uh, social casual intellectualism let's have let's call it has uh, happened these last 50 years uh and then you bring the natural baby into that situation and how we have always become human beings for the previous <laughs> 50,000 years you must uh, really you must come to realize that that baby those child are those children are being affected uh a certain way <laughs> by the by these ideas because as adults we create the forces that will affect our children uh, how we think as adults as parents will create the environment the household the way we treat each other as parents in front of the kids uh, with the kids we create what some stuff that we're going to do to that child <laughs> um and so um this is this is an area that we're uh, or this situation is something that we're not beholding at all uh instead we're enraptured with our own um analysis upon the these situations that we're starting to see intuitively maybe are causing problems but we don't still do not see how we have caused them um and this is why this is a very interesting time in in, in history right now in, in, civil, in social evolution because perhaps we're coming to the moment where we're saying wait what something something they gave us a pill 50 years ago and we have wrecked havoc or right, look at what we're doing to our children they're asking to get their genitals mutilated when they're 10 something can't be right here and we're just now starting to see this okay that's my comment thanks Ooh, this is the shortest one in a long time <laughs>